It's me. Today, I'm going to be talking about... I don't really know the topic, but it's just a thought that I had. A couple of weeks ago, I was speaking to one of my friends. And I'm Muslim, okay? And he was raised as a Christian. Now, my friend doesn't believe in, in the books, in the religious books, in the religious scriptures. He does believe in God, you know. And he, but nevertheless, he has been reading the Bible recently and he's been talking to me about this concept of love true love and as a person I'm quite narcissistic so I do tend to have some skewed views towards power and he said something to me he messaged me a couple of days ago because he's someone that doesn't have any boundaries right in his life and neither did I did I when I was an atheist and when I came to Islam, that's when I realized, you know, having boundaries is good. He appreciates me for that. He doesn't like me imposing the religion, but he appreciates certain aspects of myself that perhaps came from the religion or didn't, but you know, I try to share as much knowledge as I can, whether it's Islamic knowledge or any knowledge that I've gained by doing certain things then And I was trying to understand what this love truly means, you know, and He said to me said yeah, he said to me Don't become a slave owner become a leader I've noticed like in this in the sphere of like the YouTube you know there's a lot of these big YouTubers they take advantage of their subscribers or their following and they're selling like two thousand three thousand dollar courses for whatever reason right that claiming to help you achieve a certain goal right but if you truly wanted to help, why are you charging them so much? When you know, like, they can't afford it. Most of your viewers are like 17 to 20, 23, 25 maybe. And they're literally slave owners because they, they, they understand that, okay, I have this following, I can literally sell them anything. And it just becomes just to feel to I mean money's not wrong per se but the way you do it should like it shouldn't come at the expense of someone else for some time I didn't understand what he was talking about but of course the main prophet in Christianity is Jesus right and he promotes love for the sake of God and that's uh, something that I told them as well that the, the this conversation started when I saw him that we were sparring actually and I was before that we sat down and I told him look bro I, I love you for the sake of God you know I don't want you to go to hell and stuff and he was like look I don't accept this kind of thing and I was like that's fine you know that, that's all cool you know we've been friends for over 10 years and we've been changing for all this time you know but nevertheless, we can have very good discussions. And, and I, there's this woman I'm quoting, right? And I was thinking, okay. You know, like, because when you're quoting someone, you don't really try to get in their pants. You're trying to get to know this woman, you know. You're trying to see whether you can build a life, right? I don't sleep around, you know. I don't drink and stuff like that. So I want to just find a woman that can be the mother of my kids. That's the goal for me to speak to women, really. Otherwise, I don't do that. I don't even speak to no... I don't have friends, even, to be fair. Um, so, now... 
I was, I was thinking about this concept of like love, you know, and I was like, you know, what can I do? And I was in the gym right now, as you can see, this is usually the settings where I make my videos after the gym, the juices start flowing and I went to the sauna as well. And she's never worked out, worked out in a day in her life. <laughs> so I was thinking to break down certain workouts to make it easy for her so that it would be like a full body workout throughout the week just three sets of five really i think that's more than enough for her body weight and and i realized you know like the society that we live in is very much slavery you know Big corporations, especially this last inflation raise, like they just just milking it, you know. There's no love in that. I understand making money, of course. I understand that. I completely understand that. And it's something that I would always preach, but the way that to make it also I feel is very important. Money for the sake of money is never gonna bring you happiness. In Islam, there's this concept of barakah, and it's called blessing. It means blessing, right? So, let's say, for example, you make money by selling drugs, right? There's no barakah in it, meaning you never have peace by doing that. Now, all these billionaires, of course, like, you may think they're happy, but to be fair, they do have power and they have all the things they need, but this world is temporary, you know, you will die and... If most of your time is spent working and not actually, in, I mean, who knows what they do, right? They may be enjoying life, but I feel like I'm a lot more content compared to a lot of millionaires and a lot of billionaires. And that's not to say that I'm not striving to become as wealthy as possible, but I want to do it in a way where I'm not harming anyone. I want to do it in a way where I'm actually helping people. And not, and I don't want to be in like a transaction is between two people, and that's why interest rate, like working with interest in Islam, is forbidden because one party is losing while the other is gaining. That's not equivalent. So, and when my friend reminded me of love, and it reminded me also to that we should, as man, give our deepest purpose and our deepest love. So that we can penetrate the world. And that's not done just by harming people. No. Not at all. I don't think so. Love is not just an emotion. Um, as Disney portrays it to be. Love. First of all. In the normal sense. Is a commitment. That's the first thing. Is a commitment. It's not an emotion. And second thing. Loving is also an action. <laughs> loving with purpose it's important because our society is quite sexualized right now right and it's scary to see because i mean 12 years old 13 years old 14 year olds kids are just having rampant sex like rabbits um it taints you you know it, it takes away your innocence and you don't see the world the same Going through heartbreaks is actually not healthy. Now, for a man, of course, even for a man, to be fair, there's only so much heartbreak you can go through before you don't trust anyone and you just have a very skewed perception of life. I've had one heartbreak. That was more than enough. It took me three years to go over it, right? So... I definitely don't want to go through another one. Now, of course, we don't go into a relationship by wanting a heartbreak, but that's what happens when you do end up having sex with a woman that you think you like. You have sex goggles on. Now you like the way she makes you feel. Not actually, you, you ignore the red flags and stuff like that. So because of that, it's important to court women which is what I'm doing, which means no sexual relations. You're literally just talking. 
so that you can actually know like all right are we actually a good fit and this is going to be a test for her as well i want to see if she actually does it if she does then that well first of all it's good for her and secondly it would give me an indication that she values my word yeah man get loving don't get taken advantage of of course and loving the world doesn't just mean like what i mean like just feeling right it, it means like taking care of the earth taking care of the people you love taking care of the people that you don't love like that you don't know like you know help the homeless or help a lady you know get that buggy up the stairs at the station or whatever you know it's a how, exp how he explained it to me is that my friend, he's like very open to the whole world, right? I was trying to understand what that means. Because in my mind, the moment he said that was, okay, being open, it makes sense. But not everything has to be felt. One example in my head was like, for example, heroin, you know? I mean, I know it's extreme, but it's something that doesn't need to be experienced, you know? I guess the more I ponder upon it, the more I'll learn also. But, um, yeah, this is what I was thinking about today. I'll see you on the other side of my life. Bye, guys.